Hello, this is Christian. So in this uh, lesson, we're going to uh, write a program in Python to build a list of dictionaries, okay, with the keys, uh, first name, last name, email, and a company salary, just like you see this table here, okay. So we're going to read this file from the employees.csv file and, you know, build a list of dictionaries. And then you're going to search in that list. And once you find a matching um, you know, substring of the first name field, then we're gonna build a, another list called the result list and print that out, okay? And when we search that key term, it should be uh, case insensitive. So as you can see here, the capital Ds should match all lowercase, like here as well, you know, lowercase dy also matches capital dy and so forth here, all right? So let's uh, go and take a look. Now, the CSV file, if you open, if you download that and open it, it will look something like this. Um, it's composed of about, I think, a thousand records. If you go all the way to the bottom, yeah, a thousand records here. And it has about five uh, fields, like the first name, last name, email address, the company they work for, and their salary, okay? So that is the, the idea. So the concept is the first part is to read this text file line by line, break it up and build a dictionary out of this uh, line. So each of these is a record and um, we call it a dictionary in Python and build a list of them, okay? But the one we're gonna do is something a little bit different, but the idea will be the same. So here in the Spider IDE, I have a uh, main program called main.py. And then I have a CSV file called people.csv and the models folder. And they're in the same, same level. So I'm gonna make sure I, I load this file correctly. And this file has, um, uh, it should have that many. It's about uh, 50, yeah, 50 records. If I expand this a little bit. Okay, so we have 50 records. It says 51. Uh, that's because we have the first row as the headings. So we gotta remove these headings, of course but it has about um, one, two, three, four, five, six fields. And this is the name of those fields or those keys. So I'm gonna copy this one here and just save this for now. And we'll go over here and put some notes in here. So we have some information. Okay, so this will be my keys. Um, okay, that's the key fields. So the idea is what are you we trying to do, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So when we read every single line, we're gonna build a, a, um, a dictionary and it will look something like this, okay? So this is the dictionary. We're gonna have the ID of whatever that is, like 1001, for example, uh, that. And then we have the first, I'll just call it first instead of first name. And then we'll give it a name like, you know, uh, Jake. And then last and so forth, right? Uh, for example, okay, we're gonna build that dictionary and eventually you're gonna have a bunch of them. So we're gonna put, well, let me just put example, we have two of them. We're gonna have two of those, separate each with a comma, and then you're gonna wrap that with a square bracket because you're gonna build a list of dictionaries, okay? And then we're gonna assign that to another list, like something like that. So this is the idea, right? This, this is our goal for part one, okay? So let's do that. So first of all, I'm going to open this text file and we use the open with open command <clears throat> so we don't have to close it automatically. It's inside the uh, models folder. So actually you want to put a dot slash just to make sure you're in the current directory, which is in the uh, main directory here. I'm going to go into the models folder and then the file is called people.csv. Okay, you don't put a, you can put R if you want to, you don't have to, it's optional, but I'll put that anyway. It, it just means for reading purposes and we're gonna uh, create an alias as a file. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is uh, read the lines. You have a lot of options here. You can read line by line uh, as you you know read through the, uh, the file, or you can read all the lines together into a single object, in this case, a list object, and then you process the list. So entirely up to you. For my example, I'm going to read everything to the lines first. So I'll put like a lines, um, I guess you can call lines called records maybe. Doesn't what I would call it, records. Everything from the file.read lines. Okay, notice the S here. 
Okay, without the S, it's different. Uh, the S means read all the lines and gonna break it into single lines. So what we have inside the records is really a list of lines, right? And just to you know make sure what we have it, what we have in here, I'm gonna close this out over here so I have more room. Okay. We can run this now and just to see, make sure make sure that it's working. So I'm gonna run this now. And then over here, you see that the uh, records is a list of 50 people. If I open that up, just double click on it. We're gonna see that inside here, we have from zero up to uh, 49, right? 50 people. And each of these record is just a text, right? We notice that the type is a string. Now, so we're gonna extract each of these lines, right, each of these cells, and then we're going to Split it and create another uh, list of fields so we can access their information directly from that list. Because right now it's a string, it's not really useful. Okay, so that's the idea. So now I'm going to go ahead and run a loop through each record. So we can do something like for each um, record and the records, right, like that. And then because I'm pulling the record right away, I'm not using the index, okay? You could also use the range function if you want, going through the index, but this is a, a better approach, <clears throat> okay? So for every record, I'm going to break it up, split it into fields. And I'm gonna go through the record. That is the first line. And if you just do a split like this, okay? Remember that if you do a split, you, you do at the comma, right, at the comma uh, as a separator here. If you do that, then there might be something you want to, um, you want to clear, clear something. Uh, let me see, if I say that, I'm gonna show you. I'll break that for now. Okay, so run this. And so you look at the uh, record in the fields up here. Notice we break it up and it's in the, so everything is in their own place, right? So now the fields has all the fields that I need. This is the ID, name, first name, last name, and so forth. Great, perfect. But if you go down here and type in the console fields, and you're gonna see that the very last field, which is the uh, language field, has a, con a slash n. This is the, the carriage return, right? We don't want to leave that there, it looks ugly. And so you have to like, strip that off before you split it, okay? So before I split it, I want to do is a strip first, and then dot split. Okay, so you can chain these methods together. Just make sure you do it, uh, you split, strip first before you do a split. Otherwise it, it doesn't work, all right? Um, you don't have to put anything here. That means it's the same thing as a, um, a white space or a carriage return. So by default, it, it's both, so just do that. And then now again, if I save it, run it, you're gonna see it's updated. If I type my fields now, as you can see, the slash n is no longer there, right? Perfect. Then now I can start building my dictionaries. Okay, so what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna build a dictionary. I'm gonna, first, I'm gonna build a, a temporary person first or record first. So because they're, you know, they're people, so I put a person, it's gonna be an empty person for empty object or dictionary. And then I'm gonna plug in all the data, right? All the uh, key value pairs, okay? So I'm gonna do something like person of the ID. And again, these IDs here are these fields up here, okay? First name, last name, title, country, language, okay? So ID will be equal to the, uh, the fields of zero, okay? That is the ID field. And then I'm gonna copy this and do it a couple of times. Make it a little bit faster, I guess. Uh, first, last, um, forgot, and forgot, and forgot. <laughs> Short memory. Uh, last title, country, language, okay. So this is the first, here is the last, this is the title, country, and the language, okay? Great, and then just update this to one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. So once you built this person, then you wanna add it to a list of people, right? If you don't do that, then notice every cycle through, we keep recreating these persons, all the data actually overwritten, and we, we don't have the collection of the people. So you wanna store that to, or push that to a list of people. But you do that by going out here, right? Outside here, whether it's out here or above here, doesn't matter. So maybe I'll put it, um, uh, let's put up here, for now it's okay. 
if we hear people list underscore list, it's an empty list. Okay. Once I find that, once I built that person dictionary, I'm going to push it or add it, add it, append to list. Okay, and it cycles through the whole records, and then it will do that all for us. And when we're done, then the people list will be filled with 50 records. So let's run and test. So here we go. There is the people list, and that is what we want. So now we have a dictionary of 50 people, okay? And to access that, we can go ahead and try here, people underscore list of zero. That's the first person. I wanna get the country name. So again, just up arrow, type in the country, and that will give you the name of the country for that person. Great. So now our dictionary has been built and our list is now done. So this is now finished with part one, right? Let's move to part two. Part two is the search. Part two, search. Okay. And I put notes here, you know, part one, build a list of dictionaries. Um, we, we, the exercise asks you to, you know, choose one field and we'll do that, but you can choose all the fields if you want to. It doesn't really matter. So we'll just do one. <clears throat> okay. So when we search, we're going to uh, prompt the user to enter a term. So we call it term. And we input enter um, enter a search term, okay, just like that, and we'll force it to be lowercase, okay? We will accept lowercase. So now we're going to build a new result set. So here, result result set or list. So we'll, um, we'll call it list um, because, because it's a list. We'll, we'll keep all the result into that list, okay? If you find any. So then we're going to look inside that people list, go through every individual in the list and match one of the fields uh, with a term here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and say for every person in the people list, okay? Now we got the first person that looks like this, but now we got this object. And we're gonna pair the term against, let's just say we go with the country, okay? Go with the country instead. So then, we're going to do something like uh, if the term is in the uh, person of the country, okay, like that, right? If that is true, if that it matches, that means this term is a substring of the country. So if I enter like OAT, it should match this. If I type the CR, it should match this, right? Remember, capital C here is not the same as lower case C, so you also want to avoid this. That means you want this to be case insensitive. So I'm going to force everything to be lower case to match our input, right? So here, before I do this, I'll say country dot lower. Okay. If that is in there, then we're going to push this person or append this person to our result list. That's what we do. So result underscore list that append this person, okay? And then, um, <clears throat> and then we keep doing that until the, all the lists, right? Because it's possible that we might have two or more people from the country or Croatia or, or whatever country it is. That is the, that's the key. And once it's done, then we go ahead and print it out. So here um, we can print it out. So here will be print result. So I use a full loop, I'll just print, uh, you know, maybe just the the ID and the country name, okay? So for every, um, I don't know, I guess person again in the result set, result list, I'm gonna print, um, let's see. I'm gonna print the, i use this one here, uh, the ID, which is person of ID. I'll make it simple. This is maybe too many um, things. I'll just make it easy. Here would be person of ID, okay? And then it'll follow by a colon and then follow by the person of the country, okay? And then we're just, you know, done here. All right, so let's see if this one works. Go ahead and run it. Okay, we built a dictionary. I was asking for a term, I put C-R-O, and there it is. So we have two people uh, that are from Croatia, 
So if you run it again, press the up arrow key, hit enter. Let's look for CZ. Okay, from one from the Czech Republic. And again, we put here US and we have one from Russia. And um, try again, if you put you in, you get it from the United States, United Kingdom. Okay, perfect. So this is basically a little search engine that can search in our dictionary and match any of these fields. If you want to go and search for, you know, a different field instead of the country, you just put them here. Okay, so that's for that one. What if, like, what if you want to search for all the fields in here? Like, I want to search for maybe not the ID, but, you know, first, last, middle, country, language. Anything matches in there will be pulled. How would you do that? Okay, and that is quite simple, right? So in here, you could do the or if you want to, um, like person in a country, lower. It's a lot of work. You can do this, right? You say or, and then I'll paste that in here and make it maximize here. Or, you know, person of the first, you know, or, and then you keep going to all those five fields. That will work too. Just a lot of or statements. So instead of doing it this way, you could do something like this. You could say for every value, value and the person of um, uh, values, right? Because this is a dictionary, right? Person that values will return all the values for us to, uh, to look at. And um, let's show you, right? If you go back here again, so we see the, um, for example, the person, right? Person is an object. If you want to get all the keys is person dot keys, key function, turn all the keys. I want the values, you go with the values. See, right? So get all the values, and uh, we're just going to look at the uh, all the values, even the key to ID2, it doesn't really matter. Um, so for edit values, <clears throat> and um, you want to check. So back to this term again, I'm going to push that over. If term is in the value to the lowercase, then push that to the list, okay? And, you know, we can omit the first one, um, but that's that's okay, because all the ID is one away. So in this case, it search for IDs too. And uh, I'm just gonna leave it at this. But, but now we search all the fields, okay? So let's see what happens over here. If I go and clear my list and run this now, we look at the term for, uh, if I look for, let's say, ID of 1007, right? If I do 1007, let's see it matches the ID, as you can see here, it's from Germany. If I do it again, if I search for the, um, in Brazil, right? So I put ZIL here, it search, it finds the Brazil. If I search for, um, you know, the accountant, I put, just put like T-A-N-T -T here, here, there we go. Even though you can see that the country doesn't have it, but it matches the name of that, um, you know, title. It's 1018, it's right here. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Um, and so once you have this working, right, I often ask you to, you know, move this out into functions. Okay, I, I highly recommend you do that. Um, so you, you, you know, so you learn how to do it, you learn better. Um, so I, I'll leave that to you and you can solve that by moving this into a function and uh, call those functions. Okay, well, thank you so much. Have any questions, please let me know.